let me show you how to clone yourself in Camtasia. You might find this helpful if you can't get your work done and wished you had another you to help out. That was bad. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got a sample project open here. Let's clone myself. So uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come up with an idea. And you may wanna script this out because it would be fairly easy to just put multiple copies of myself in a video. But what I wanna do here is I wanna have a conversation between one copy of myself and another. So when you're gonna do that, uh, and there's talking back and forth, you have to put some thought into it because you have to film each version of yourself separately. Okay, so when you're filming the first copy of yourself, uh, you're gonna say part of the script and then you're gonna wanna wait because you're thinking about, okay, the other copy that I haven't filmed yet, I have to give them time to respond. So it can get kind of complicated. So I've just done a relatively simple one here um, and I think it worked out pretty well. So uh, I'm gonna recreate it now so uh, I can take you through the steps. Another tip that I have for you is you wanna definitely use a tripod. So I used uh, the camera that I'm using right now and it's fixed to my desk. Um, so that way when I film three different times with me doing three different things, the background hasn't really changed. So it hasn't changed at all. There's just three copies of myself with the same background doing different things. So tripod is a must to do something like this. I've already recorded the video clips. So I've got three video clips here, one here, there, and there. And then down below I have the audio for those three clips. I, I recorded the video separate from the audio, so we'll have to sync those up. And then this uh, file here is some background music that we're gonna add as well. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna choose the clip that you want to be the background. So I've got, so the two main clips I have are this one here, okay, and this one here. So we've got this one, I'm sitting at my desk, Okay, and this one I'm kind of moving around in the background. Okay, uh, and in my case, I'm gonna choose this background one as, as the base, as the background. So we're gonna leave that clip relatively unchanged, uh, and then we're gonna place this one on top of it. Okay, but now before we get into that, we need to sync up our audio. So let's go ahead and bring the audio in for both of these. So. Clone test one, that was the one for this here. So just get it close. And then clone test two, this is the audio for this clip here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I need to sync these up. So let's just move this one out of the way. Uh, in order to sync these up properly, uh, you can go by the um, waveforms, the audio waveforms here, and get them as close as you can, and then you're gonna wanna zoom in, and then just make some small adjustments to make sure everything is lined up, and then do a test. I'm editing videos. Okay, what do you mean? Okay, that looks pretty good. So my audio and video are synced up there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this back here and snap it to the end. Um, now over here at the very beginning, I'm not gonna keep all of that in the final video. So I'm just gonna cut it off right around there and I will use the split command to delete both parts, the audio and the video. Okay, so this clip now is synced up. What I will also want to do is I want to remove the audio that was captured by my camera. Okay, I only want to keep this audio down here. That was the good audio that I processed and made sound a little bit better. Uh, so for this one, we're going to right click and I'm going to go silence audio. So now there's just one copy of the audio. What do you mean? I'm editing videos. Okay, so that is that clip there. And we're gonna to wanna to move those together. In fact, we could group them, but just so that I, so that you can see what's going on here, I'm not gonna group them. Um, now this other clip here, let's do the same thing. Let's line up the audio and the video. And you can kind of see, if you have trouble knowing where the, the uh, they should line up, you can zoom like this, okay? It might help um, you visualize it better. Um, but I can see that, that it, that's pretty close to what we want. So 
let me just zoom in all the way in and then try to get this even better, even closer. It looks pretty close now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I hear a bit of an echo, so that tells me that they're not perfectly lined up. I think this one might be too far ahead. Let's just move this back a bit and try that. What are you doing? What are you doing? I think that's pretty good. Okay, so now, so I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, if you if you notice this clip here, so I filmed the other one first. Okay, I filmed this one first, just sitting at my desk, and then I said a couple things to my other self, <laughs> and then I shut the camera off. So I'm going to want to delete that that ending. So let's just find where we want to end that and then highlight them both and split and then delete those. Okay, so that one is pretty well set. This one, so I wanna delete the part where I'm actually turn, so what I'm doing right here is I'm, I'm turning on the camera and I'm turning on the audio recording. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that and let me just, I think I want it to start over here somewhere. Okay, so let's highlight them both and we'll split and delete that part and then we'll come over here and I'm I'm having the conversation, right? And then I go back over there. So, and then I come back to, to stop the recording. So I'm going to delete that part of it. So I'm just going to end it around here somewhere. Okay, highlight that, split and then delete. Okay, so now we want to line these two up. Okay, we want to line the audio up, not line it up, but we want to position the audio so that the conversation kind of makes sense. But you'll see that I'm gonna have to do something else first. Once I move this here, right, it's covering the background one. So what we have to do is we have to remove the background of this one. Remember I said I want this one to include the background this copy of myself, I don't want to have the background because I want to be able to see what's underneath it. And what's underneath it is this clip here. Okay, so to do that, we highlight this clip, we come up to visual effects, and we use the background remover. And we'll drag that down and drop it onto the clip. And as soon as we do that, you can see now the clip that's underneath. Okay, so here is where you can really see what's going on. Okay, the, the background was removed and Camtasia does a fabulous a job of uh, removing the background. It's really neat. Um, so that's pretty good. But now I just want to make sure the audio lines up. So let's just have a listen. What do you mean? Okay, when I said, what do you mean there? What do you mean? That's in response to this audio here. What are you doing? Then I'm supposed to say, what do you mean? Okay, so... Let's take this and move it so that where I say, what do you mean, which is right here, happens between the two things. Let's just see how that plays out. Let's move these back, actually. I'll move all this back here so we can see what's going on. And let's just have a listen. What are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing? I'm editing videos. Okay. Okay, and then I disappeared, so I better uh, I better end this one at the same time as the first one. There we go. So it'll just end just like that. Perfect. Okay, so that, that lined up pretty good. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is on this one down here, um, I didn't remove the audio. So that's why it, it kind of sounded a little bit echoey. So let's remove the audio of this video piece because we have better audio down here. Okay, so right click. Silence audio. There we go. So now let's just have one more listen. What are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing? I'm editing videos. Okay, so one thing I did notice is uh, the first person that speaks, this one here, uh, it's too loud. Okay, and you can almost tell by looking at here. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove or I'm going to reduce the volume by dragging the volume line down here like this until it sounds better. So let's try that. What are you doing? What do you mean? 
What are you doing? I'm editing videos. I think that sounds better. Maybe just a little bit lower because this person here, right here, should sound a little bit louder because they're in the foreground. Okay, I'm talking about myself in the third person is weird, but anyways. <laughs> so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add the third copy of myself. So let's go back to the media bin here and we'll go back up here. Now this third one, I did not include audio for. So we only have to grab the video portion and that was this one right here. So let's drag this down here. And as you can see, this one is much longer because this one took me several takes to, uh, to get right. So what I, the idea is I'm gonna peek my head in from the left side uh, just to kind of look over the shoulder, right? To see what's going on. But as you can see, uh, my face is blurry. So, I mean, what I could have done is I could have set the, the focus, the autofocus on my camera. I should have turned that off and set it to manual focus. So it's focusing on, you know, the door in the background and not my face. That's why I'm blurry. So I wanted to fix that. And what I did, if I just keep dragging the playhead here, there, once my head is in the frame, the camera focused on my face. So that's the look I want. So what I did is I tried to take my face out of the shot and then back in really quickly before the camera refocused on the door, if that makes sense. So it took me several times, as you can see by going through here, it took me several times before I got it. There, and I think that was the last one that was the best. So right here, just Okay, so I, I stuck my head in to, to get focused, to get the camera focused, and then out, and then back in quickly. There we go, until it went out of focus. Okay, so that, I'm gonna choose the ending, right there is where I want it to end. That's the part that I want. So let's split that here and delete that section. And now let's bring the play head back, and I want it to start right there. As you can see, my shoulder is still in the shot a little bit, that's okay because we're gonna remove the background from this one as well. So I'll highlight this, I'm gonna split it again there, and I'm gonna delete all this beginning part, and then bring this back here. Okay, so what I have to do now is I have to remove the background from this clip. So let's go back up to Visual Effects, and bring the background remover down and drop it on that clip. Okay. That worked pretty good. So now let's just play this through. Let's bring this back to the beginning like this and play this through and just see. Actually, before I do that, uh, let's go back up to media and let's bring this down. This is the music track. So I wanna bring some music down to the bottom track. Right here, I'm gonna just right click and remove that second track to tighten everything up here. Okay, and now let's play, actually let's delete most of that music and then bring it back to here. And now let's see what we have. Okay, right off the bat, I believe the music is too loud. Let's bring that down quite a bit. What are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing? I'm editing videos. Okay. Okay, so this one, it didn't look like the background removed. There's a little bit going on down here, so it didn't work quite as well. Let's take this, because there's no background to this clip here, I can actually click and drag it and move it around a little bit. Okay, let's actually move it back like this. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay. Like that's much better. Okay, now uh, something else we can do here is, um, let's see, let's just uh, change the zoom here a little bit so I can see what's going on. Instead of myself, instead of this copy of me just appearing like that out of nowhere, let's add a little effect. So let's find out where we want to enter the scene. 
probably right about there. So let's trim this like this. And let's go to transitions and look for the glitch transition and bring that down. See what that looks like. That was kind of cool. Just kind of appeared like that. Um, now, if I want it, now if I want that to take a little longer to appear, I just drag out the animation like that. That's cool. Okay, now one other thing to kind of really sell this effect, if we go back to the media tab, um, I have also brought in a sound effect, okay, uh, from Motion Array. So that's what this file is here. Let's bring that down and drop it here, right? So I want to play this sound effect as I am morphing onto the screen, say. So let's see what that sounds like, or let's see what that looks and sounds like. That's kind of cool. Maybe that's a little bit loud. We can turn that down a bit. Very nice. Okay, so now let's see what we have. What are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing? I'm editing videos. Okay. Okay, one last change that I want to make here, one, one last edit. Um, I don't know if, if uh, you can tell or not, but to me, this copy of myself looks a little too bright, okay? So what I want to do to fix that, so that's, if you can remember, that's this one here. Let's go up to Visual Effects and look for the color adjustment and drag that effect down, okay? Uh, and now let's reset all these values of the brightness, contrast, and saturation to zero to get back to where we were. Okay, so that's unadjusted. Uh, now let's just play with the brightness. I think I wanna darken that up a little bit. That might look a little bit better. And I think that's all I have to do. Saturation maybe. Bring that up a little bit. Okay, that might, I think that looks a little bit better. Now let's just see this third copy here. What's the coloring look like on that one? I think that looks pretty good. You may find you want to modify the uh, the color properties of one or more of your versions, if you will, um, because if, if one version is further in the background, then maybe you want that person to be a little bit darker. So we could do that here. If I highlight this, that's this one here, if you remember, bring a color adjustment down. Uh, let's go over and zero these values out again. And if I want this to be even a little bit darker because the key light should be just on me here, um, we would just drag the brightness down a little bit. Okay, I think that probably makes the most sense. Okay. There, now, if you wanna know how to turn this into a reel, which I've already done, if you if you wanna check out my channel and, and look under my YouTube shorts, um, I've got this turned into a reel with text and whatnot. Uh, you can go check that out. If you want me to explain how I created that, let me know in the comments below and I can make a video on that as well, or I can cover that in my next live stream. If there's anything else you'd like to know how to do in Camtasia, let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, I live stream Camtasia tutorials every week. I do live how-to tutorials, I show you how I make my videos, and I answer your questions live. So if you're looking to improve your videos, join me in the next live stream. I'm Rob, and I'll see you in the next video, or in a live stream. See you soon.